I'm looking ahead to week three. And week three is going to be Miami Dolphins versus the uh, Oakland Raiders. And uh, I think Gase's offense should be primed for uh, to success in this coming week's matchup against uh, the Raiders, right? Gase, he likes to think keep things on schedule and the Raiders I think they're ready to ready to do that for us Dolphins you know their, their, their defense has given up 140 to the Rams and 168 to the Broncos yards rushing in their first two games I think that pans out very well for you know a Ryan Tannehill offense that has so far done a okay you know pretty fair job of creating advantages you know advantages you know, uh, third down situation with some success on the ground. Uh, the passing game has traced, it's, it's, it, it's definitely has stayed true uh, to the short game with speedy receivers running uh, crossing screens, quick outs, hitch passes, bubble screens. You know, Danny Hill's yards per game. Kind of, it fits right into the um, the range of what the Raiders have given up through the air. So if Gase continues to stay with his current plan of attack, I think uh, with this, I think you could expect Tannehill to have uh, numbers closer to what he had against Tennessee. You know, 20 for 28, 222 yards, then the 17 for 23, you know, 122 yards passing he had against the uh, the Jets. Defensively, uh, you're going to face a Raiders offense that has put up consistent numbers rushing and passing through two games, right? Carr, 29 for 40, 300 yards. No, no touchdowns, three interceptions against the Rams. Eye-popping, 29 for 32, 281 yards against the Broncos, but only threw one touchdown with no interceptions. This so far, so if you're doing the math there, it gives Carr one TD, three interceptions on the season. They brush in those two games for 92 yards and 95 yards. The defense on us has been uh, stout versus the run. Now, you, now we, for, for this game, I think we need to start getting to the quarterback after play action. Carr is completing 81% of his passes, and you just gave up 334 yards, which could have been, you know, much closer to 400 yards with all the drops to a rookie. Carr won't be as nimble, elusive, and accurate on the scramble as Sam Darnell proved to be, but he won't be a sitting duck either. You know, the Raiders have faced stiff competition uh, during this 0-2 start, and you could bet they will be hungry, definitely, to get the first win on their Gruden. Fortunately for us, you know, what's expected probably is your typical 90-degree weather, 75% humidity, and 50% chance of thunderstorms. Another factor leaning, I think, in the Dolphins' favor is the absence of Khalil Mack. This is yet another close matchup against a solid football team. The ESPN Power Index gives the like gives the Dolphins a 66. If you follow this type of stuff, 66.1 percent chance of winning, and Vegas likes Miami by a field goal. It's definitely a winnable game in a favorable situation, but the Raiders definitely have you know have weapons like Carr. Cooper, Lynch, and Cook to worry about, right? Those numbers all look good. You have some momentum. And this team, this young Dolphins team, already has two games under their belt with wins. As long as our defense um, continues to bottle up the run and Tannehill stops impersonating Chris Chandler with those, those, those type of fumbles that he's doing, Especially in the rain, I like the Miami Dolphins' chances. I really do. I hope all is well, and I look forward to speaking to you very, very soon.